This is a high flow oxygen mask with a reservoir. It is used to deliver oxygen to a patient who may be hypoxic. It comprises a mask and some tubing with a bag reservoir here as well. Now, indications for its use include patients in whom you suspect that there may be some degree of respiratory compromise. In particular, if you think a patient is hypoxic and you need to deliver oxygen quickly, this is the mask of choice. It comprises a plastic mask with an elastic band to secure the mask in place, plastic reservoir and plastic tubing. The tubing should be connected to the oxygen supply with a flow rate of at least 10 litres a minute, but preferably 15 litres a minute. Once connected to the oxygen supply, it is important to insert your finger against the valve on the inside of the mask. This will allow the bag to fill up, creating a reservoir of oxygen to maximise oxygen delivery. As mentioned, indications for its use include oxygenation of patients in whom you suspect to be hypoxic, Contraindications to its use include patients who are intubated, as naturally you should connect the oxygen supply to the ET tube. Complications of its use include that the mask can get stuck on the patient's face. However, this mask is designed with two holes. These holes act as a valve to prevent the seal from becoming too tight on the patient's face. Also, there are certain groups of patients such as those who are known to retain carbon dioxide, who shouldn't be oxygenated with this mask for long periods because they are at risk of losing their hypoxic drive to breathe and as a consequence may go into respiratory arrest. Typically, these are patients with severe chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. I've seen this mask used in emergency situations around the hospital and pre hospitally this mask is used to deliver oxygen to those patients who may be compromised, and particularly if they are hypoxic. So in summary, this is a high flow oxygen mask with a reservoir. It is used to deliver a high concentration of oxygen to a patient who may have respiratory compromise or hypoxia.